this is Anna from Koala Soap and today I'm going to revisit um, a soap technique that I did about six years ago. I'll leave a link either up there or down in the description below. Links to everything I'm using are actually also in the description below. What we're going to do is I, I always I love fondant mats. I love the design on them. It's just, it's, you saw one of my last videos, it's really hard to sometimes get the soap out of there because they are so thin. So we showed you that technique a couple of videos ago, but I also wanted to show you a technique that we can also do with it um, that we've done before, um, but instead of keeping it all one color, we're going to do two colors, and I'll show you what I mean. So this is a fondant mat that has a really pretty design. Again, if you're interested in this, the links are down below in the description. I'm going to be using our pink uh, six cavity mold. Each of these has about four ounces of uh, shea butter melt and pour soap. Now this only holds about 3.6 to 3.8 ounces of melt and pour soap per cavity, but we're going to be we're, we're going to use a little bit more just because of the technique we're going to use. So I'm going to set these off to the side. The way I do this is when you have leftover soap. Um, you know how I would say throw it in the mold, that way it's easy for you to get out and reuse. And that's what I've done here. The next step I take um, is I will take the soap and I will find the part of the design that I like. So I obviously like where this leaf is coming down to be like the midpoint. And I put the soap on top of it so I can see where um, I'm going to need to cut and try to make sure it's square up top. And then I just take a regular pen and I just make a little mark, little mark, little mark. And then the next part is you want to use, I use, for me, it's better for me if I use big scissors so I could use a big, you know, big cut to try to keep it as straight as possible. You can always draw straight down. The issue is, um, you know, there's so many little nooks and crannies and sometimes your pen won't go all the way. I don't want to use a Sharpie because I don't want the color to transfer the soap. And then what I do is once I cut those big strips down, now I've done two different types of cutting here. This one you can see I cut all the way as intricately close to the design as I could. And this one I didn't. You can see the top is pretty much flat and I didn't really cut it as close as I did this one. So we're going to see which one works out better. I hate cutting my mats but this works very well so um, I think you know you can still use this in a mini loaf if you put it on the side these are still good but it actually will give you a lot of soap I have several designs I have to do for people so I'll be doing a couple more of these videos just to show you you know different fun techniques and all of that I use these smaller scissors they're pretty sharp um, and that's where I kind of cut through just a little bit more to get a little closer to design. I don't want to cut a square, if that makes sense to you. Um, and I cut both of these, the, the intricacies, to get it really, try to get it as close as possible with these scissors. This one I didn't try to get it too close. You can see there's a nice little gap there. Um, we're going to just try it both ways and see how it works. The next step that you want to do just make sure that these fit. So this one will fit here. And if there's like a little lip or something, you know, just to cut a little bit more off. Now these, these type of silicone fondant mats stick very well. However, doing these for about six years or more now, sometimes they're so light and the soap can sometimes get underneath and make it float up a little bit. We're going to show you how to solve that problem too. So our next step is to melt these down. We're going to be using all of it eventually, but we do want to melt these down, and then we're going to go ahead and work on these. You do want to get a flimsy uh, type of um, spatula or something similar if you can find it, and that's what we're going to use for these. So let's go ahead and get the soap melted down, and then we're going to work on this part. Then we'll work on making the actual soap itself. For today, we're going to be using Nature's Oil uh, Love Spell, and because each of these, so I have I have approximately four ounces in each of these, and my my rule is uh, five mLs per pound. 
So I'm going to be using uh, about two and a half or less in each of these. Two and a half mLs or less in each of these once they're melted. I'm going to make sure it's at a good temperature and it's not too hot. We're going to go ahead and melt these down and we will be right back. These are now melted and they are kind of hot. So 176 and 170. These are perfect for the pour here. I have a couple of jets flying over kind of low. I live close to a naval base. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the sound now and that way you can just kind of watch. So you want to pour this part hot. So when the jets start again, I'll turn it off. You want to pour this hot because you want this to really get into those nooks and crannies. Because again, this is a real delicate mold. And you don't want any of this left over. And I use the opposite side here because this already starts to cool. Now I do squirt it with a little bit of alcohol because every once in a while you'll see a little bubble pop up. Now after that we're going to let that sit. We're going to hold these off to the side. If I can get them up. We'll put them over here. Because what we would like to do, make sure your mat is clean when you do this, is you can actually scrape it up and put it back into the soap. And what I use is this, as you're aware. So what's, what I'm going to do is once this is dry enough, I'm going to go ahead and, depending on the temperature of these, I will scrape them up and I will either put them extra in my pink mold or I will put them in here. Right now, these are at 165, 154. So while we're waiting for those to settle, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video for just a second and clean this part up so we can at least mix our colors. We're going to be using, um, uh, looks like, uh, can never, oh, violet petal, and then I'm using a blue from Brambleberry. And the one thing, I, the only thing about Brambleberry is like their labels always fade, and I can never tell what the color is. But it's a blue. We're going to use a blue. And I think I already told you we're going to be using Love Spell. Let me clean this up, and we're going to go ahead and move on to the next uh, part. Let's see what these are at now. I went ahead and put what was on here, I put it in the other mold. Okay, so we're 152 and 149. So we're going to go ahead, this, there's alcohol in these bath, bath bomb molds. We're going to use the purple. And then we'll use the blue. Now as soon as I put these in, it's going to cool the soap really quickly. Let's see where we're at on these. Okay, these feel like they're dry. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to dump this in here. That off to the side. This off to the side. And these are, these are like nice and pastel, which is what I wanted. I didn't want anything really too dark. One forty, one thirty-five. What I'm thinking is because this is such a flimsy mold, I haven't put the, the fragrance in yet. 
Um, and this is actually at a temperature now that I can add the fragrance if I wanted to. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually wait another 15 minutes before I pour the soap on top of this, even though I'm going to pour it probably in the low 130s and high 120s. Um, this is just such a flimsy, uh, thin mold. I don't want it to pull the white up out of here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do something I usually don't do. So I'm actually going to put this in the refrigerator for 10 minutes. I'm just going to let these sit for 10 minutes. I will rewarm them up, and then we will add the fragrance oil. I think that's how we're going to do this. I just don't want to. I just don't want to pull this color up. So I will be back in about 10 minutes, and we'll go ahead and finish. All right, these are now melted. These are now colder. Another thing that you would want to do is kind of go around the ends, and if there's like, um, like right here, there's a little piece of soap. It just you, you kind of want to keep the ends as clean as possible. Just don't be sure not to take anything away from the design itself. So sometimes on the ends there, there'll be a little bit of something. Now this is part of the design, so I can't really take that off without taking the flowers out. So these are both in the 140s. So I'm going to grab my love spell, and I think you know I think I'm going to only put like maybe a mil and a half in each. That's fine. It smells really good. It smells really good. Okay, and let's go ahead and mix those. Now we're going to take our pink mold and we're going to make sure that they fit. We know which way we're going to be putting them, etc. I have my dishwasher going in the background. Sorry about that. Okay, so we now know how these are going to fit. Uh, there's a little bit of extra soap here that's not letting it lay flat, so I'm going to take that off. See if I can get to work better. Much better. Now what I do, this is going to be my purple soap here. I'm going to actually take a little dab of this, and this is how I'm going to make sure it sticks. I'm just going to put that down. The soap's still going to get underneath it. That's fine. I just don't want it to float up. Okay, this has a little bit of soap, like right here. We're going to take that off. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and pour these. Uh, stick this on and pour it, and then we will go ahead and then we'll when we're ready. a lot so there's some ripples here so these are staying home anyway obviously because I'm not wearing gloves we're going to go ahead and do the unmolding and this is what it'll look like okay so now what we're going to do what you can do is you can take your fingernail and grab it and pull it up I've done that before um, and you can do that but since I, I do a lot of stuff on my Cricut, I also have a little weeder. And this will grab, just grab it here, and then you can pull it up.
So now what we're going to do is we're going to clean that up. That looks really nice. See how delicate that design is? But you can see how there's stuff here on the side. And even here, um, what you do is you can do one of two things. You can use a little knife and cut that off gently, which is what I think I will do. Let me see if I can grab something easy. Grabbing a little butter knife. And I'm just going to gently take off this little part here. I want to show you something. You notice that I cut this one really like right close to the design and this one I left the straight edge. This is what happens if you cut it really close to the design. So now I have this lip here which is fine but I actually kind of prefer this one. You see how it's just kind of a straight edge and there you go. So you can use this on your finger. Uh, just know that if you use your finger you might you might actually accidentally get a little, a little bit of a white piece of the white there. So then what I'll do is I will take the vegetable peeler and I will try to clean up my edges just a little bit. So there's that one. This one is going to be a little bit harder. So that's why what I'm saying is don't worry about getting it so close um, that you don't want to miss the design. So we'll see if we can clean it up doing it this way. You just don't need to cut it that close up top. That's my ice maker, sorry. Do you see how nice and intricate these are? I mean, they're actually quite beautiful. And the design comes out great. So I had to cut up the silicone uh, fondant mat, but I can use these over and over and over again. Again, links to everything I'm using are below. Now, this is when you do a white on a pastel, but I was actually testing this out on that flower mold that we had done, I think, a couple videos ago. And this is, this is a shea butter melt and pour with a shea butter blue, okay? This is a shea butter melt and pour with a glycerin blue. You can see it's a little bit different. You see this one's a little bit darker. But let me show you what happens also is that blue kind of ran over here. So it's still a pretty soap, but the blue ran a little bit. So what I would do is I actually prefer this design because even if the white runs a little bit, it, it doesn't really show. So this almost looks like it, I don't know if you can see it like right here, it kind of looks like it, it ran in. Now I could have also poured it a little hot, but I, I prefer this design to the these here. We can do these little molds and do it with a white, but I think this looks really nice intricate, delicate, and I think you could really sell these. Um, in the back, what I would do is you can miter this part off, um, and then I would do the same thing with the vegetable peeler that I did here. So everything that I used is down below, um, and I really hope you like this design. I will be doing some more of the silicone um, designs because there's several ways you can use it. These are not, I've shown you I think two ways in the last couple weeks, but there's still more ways you can use them. So this is Anna from Koala Soap. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a really good week.